can you take five from three? I don't think so. Sure, you can't say five from three in second grade. In second grade. I know, second grade. I'm reminding me that I have to put on my second grade hat. Okay, keep going. <laughs> right in the... Okay, here. And, okay, here we go. Okay. Two minus one equals one. <laughs> and if you take the one... And if you take the one for vacation to the one side, it would still be a one. And if you take this three and put it beside there, 13 minus five, they, the 13 takes a vacation down here to the equal side. Okay. Okay. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay. So equals eight, right? Right. One minus one equals Invisible. So, or what's your answer? I just said eight. Oh, okay. So, did you make this method up? Yes. What made you do that? I was thinking of a vacation from getting away from math. <laughs> you were thinking of a vacation to get away from math? Yes, I was. Why would you want to take a vacation away from math? That's like taking a vacation away from life because math is life. It's everywhere. What do you want to do in math? Because it's fun and numbers deal with logic and <laughs> it makes me kind of feel good when I <laughs> understand how something works mathematically. Did you, just, did you just say that it makes you feel tingly? No, I did not. I said it makes me feel good. You said it makes me feel good. I did not say that. Did not say that. And little turkey. Okay, well, that was really fun watching you with the way you create ways to help you do math. I think it's interesting, and I'll leave it at that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.